answers. Um, and so uh, question number one, um, we're asked for which expressions are equal to 2005. We don't have to fully prime factorize something, but I think that expressing 2005 as five times 401 could be pretty good. Let's just see if that's divisible by three. Four plus zero plus one is five. That's not divisible by three, therefore this isn't divisible by three. So that's um, probably good enough. And now I can very quickly decide through the multiple choice options. Um, I just need to look for the option that is clearly five times 401. <coughs> that one is the business. It's the only one which uses a five. So therefore it has to be that one. Uh, let's just um, quickly check that that's 401. Yes it is, 20 times 20 is 400. That's 401. So that's an example of how the prime factorization strategy can be very uh, useful <coughs> um, for doing things very fast. Question number two, the numbers two, three, two, three, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, 20 and 21. Notice how I prime factorize those. Um, apparently you can divide them into two sets so that the product of the numbers in each set is the same. Now, um, if uh, this is what I'm going to do now is an example of just thinking about a simpler problem. Um, if, it, if we had some numbers and they were going to be divided into two sets so that their sum was the same. You could very easily work out what the sum was. You would just um, add them up and divide by two. Um, but here we have to do it for um, a product. So instead of adding these numbers up, we're going to multiply them. So the grand product of these is two times two times two times two times two times two. So two to the power of six times three times three times three times three. 3 to the power of 4 times 5 times 5 times 7 times 7. So each group has to be 2 to the power of 3 times 3 squared times 5 times 7. Um, so that you can say that one group multiplied by the other group gives the grand total product of all of them. Um, and in fact, that's the answer. Now, to answer the question, you have to do it properly. That'll be 35. Um, so that'll be 9 times 35 will be 35 less than 10 times 35. So that's 315. Times you by it is dead easy. You just double three times. So that's 4 times... 630, which is 2 times 1,260, which is 2,520. Okay, question number three. There are 10 girls in a mixed class. If two people from the class are selected at random to represent the class on the school council, then the probability that both are girls is... 0.15. How many boys are there in the class? Okay, so let boys be x. This is an example of name, meaning, stating, and equating. Let girls be. Oh, we don't need to say let girls be y. There are 10 girls. Um, so, um, this is a classic tree situation. So, Girl, 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 boy, boy, girl, boy, boy. Now, we're told that the probability that both girls is 0.15, but I'm going to write that as um, 15 over 100.
Okay, so this probably has to be, this probability has to be 10 over 10 plus x. And this has to be 9 over... Nine plus X. And basically what's happening is that ten over ten plus X times nine over nine plus X has to be equal to fifteen over hundred. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this easier on my eye by changing 15 over 100 to 90 over 600. Because um, now it's working out. 10 times 9 equals 90. Now, here's the thing. 10 plus x times 9 plus x has to be equal to 600. Now, um, I could do that the slow way, that's a quadratic, um, but why not um, prime factorize 600? Um, 600 is 6 times 100, which is 3 times 2, times 2 times 2, times 5 times 5. I guess what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get two consecutive numbers to give 600. So that's a 25 and that's a 24. Um, so therefore, x equals 15. There we go. Now this um this was me using the prime factorization strategy just to do something a bit quicker. Um, because I knew that this question had to be about whole numbers. Um. You can, of course, solve this as a quadratic if you want, just by expanding the bracket um, and then solving uh, by whatever method you want. Um, I just use prime factorization to make that quicker.